Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'll be tackling the question does Shadow of War hold up in 2021 through the criteria of gameplay, playability, content, and graphics and through all these criteria we'll be able to find our answer and of course this is strictly just my opinion with some facts spread here and there so take that as you will and I won't bore you with some like and subscribe thing if you like it you like it if you don't you don't but let's just go ahead and hop right into the video. So a quick overview of Shadow of War. Shadow of War was released by Warner Brother Gaming on September 25th, 2017, two pretty good reviews, even getting a 9 out of 10 review from IGN, only falling a point due to microtransactions in the game, which later was removed from the game as a whole. Shadow of War is a sequel to the game Shadow of Mordor, which came out September 30th, 2014, which, uh, if you want to see a review over that game, make sure to comment that down below. Shadow of War continues the story almost immediately after the events of Shadow of Mordor, and to stay spoiler free, I won't go into the story that much. Just expect some awesome cutscenes, twists, and just a good overall story. Shadow of War is a third person open world action role playing video game with amazing combat, stealth, skills, a wide open world, so basically Arkham Knight with swords. However, where this game really shines is through the Nemesis system, which can be def best described as the Nemesis system is a process by which the games created their own intricate web of orcs, each with their own strengths, weaknesses, and relationships to other enemy NPCs. Take out a captain, for example, and a subordinate could rise to take his place. Humiliate that same captain by explaining his fears of fire, and his peons might stage something of a hostile takeover. Fail to take a character out, and he might rise to the ranks to torment you again later on. That's from Games Radar. Okay, with the overview out of the way, let's go ahead and hop right to into each of these categories. The first category we'll be going over is going to be gameplay. So as I stated earlier, Shadow of War has some amazing gameplay. Everything you do in this game feels smooth and looks really, really cool, and it makes you feel really, really cool. The controls are pretty simple and don't take a lot to get used to. However, with the amount of skills and abilities you're, you're at your disposal, it really allows you to be able to mix up the gameplay so no one player will play the same way. From personal experience, this is what I'd say. Everyone can play Shadow of War the way they want it to. If you want to be really stealthy, you can make it really stealthy by staying in the shadows and attacking enemies with traps, the terrain, or making a swift attack with your dagger. Or if you're more of a Leroy Jenkins type character, feel free to just run in there and begin swinging. Or if you're a strategetic, you can send spies, focus on the and exploit your opponent's strengths and weaknesses, or you could do all three. It's really all up to you. So in gameplay department, Shadow of War definitely holds up inside of 2021. The next category we'll be going over is going to be content. So Shadow of War has a lot of content. Three main stories, online modes, side quests, co collectibles, arenas, and of course, it's open world. So you can explore, meet different and unique captains with the Nemesis system. So in short, it has basically infinite content, but of course, when you do finish all three main stories, collect everything, complete all side quests, arenas, then the open world may get a bit repetitive, but still expect some awesome unique orc encounters. So in 2021, Shadow of War definitely gets a thumbs up. The third category is going to be playability. So playability is basically how much glitches, errors, or issues you may run into while playing the game. And overall, Shadow of War is pretty good with staying away from glitches. And when there are glitches, they're never game-breaking. Rather, they're just funny, like some weird death animation uh, or just weird jump animation or something like that, right? But just, just take my word for it. I've put hundreds of hours into this game, and I've never actually ran into a glitch that's made me mad at the game. So for the playability, it definitely gets a uh, thumbs up in this department in 2021 standards. The last category is going to be graphics, which is always up for, for debate. Just for me, the graphics of Shadow War are amazing. They can be a bit, bit funky at times with like certain NPCs like the human soldiers, but overall they're pretty pretty good. So it gets a thumbs up here as well. So overall, Shadow of War is definitely worth trying out or picking back up again and it definitely holds up inside of 2021. So what do you think of my review? Do you agree? Disagree? Either way, make sure to tell me why down in the comment section down below. And if you want to see other games reviewed, make also comment that down below as well. Well, till next time, I'm XP. Plays, have a wonderful day. Peace.